Hi, I'm Jonathan Downey, the founder and CEO of Airware. And today we have with us Fabian, who is the co-founder and CTO of Delta Drone, a French designer and manufacturer of commercial drones that are being used in a number of different industries, including agriculture, industrial inspections, uh, surveying and mapping, uh, and even some telecom applications. So thank you so much for joining us today, Fabian. You. Uh, you started this company with a few people building the first prototype in your garage. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, uh, since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated about things that, uh, that fly and robotics too. So it started in the garage and uh, presented that to, to, to friends of mine who became co-founder of Delta Drone. And uh, we had some ideas about, business ideas about it that we presented to, to some potential investors mm -hmm. and friends. And immediately the, the ideas of the application came naturally. And, um, so you didn't necessarily know right when you started what you might use the drone for, but as you started having conversations with investors, some of the things that started cropping up. Yeah, well, we, we wanted to use it for certain rescue, for right. um, um, lost skiers in, in or skiers in avalanche because we're in the middle of the Alps. So that that was yeah, that we wanted to to use that for that for that application specifically. But more serious stuff happened. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, Delta Drone, what is, what's different about what you're doing at Delta Drone um, from other companies that are also building drones for commercial applications? Well, we're not only a drone manufacturer, but we're providing the full service. And our um, customers don't really need a drone. They need reports. They need results uh, that, that, and that, uh, which allows us to make, up their, uh, make decisions. So your customers, uh, it sounds like they need decisions where the tool to get those may be a multi-rotor or it may be a fixed-wing aircraft, because I know Delta Drone is operating both types of aircraft. What are some examples of applications that may really require a multi-rotor or really require a fixed-wing? Well, multi-rotor is very used for close-range in inspection, where you need a really high resolution, for example, inspecting a flare stack or a bridge where you are looking at the tens of millimeter details. And the fixed wing is, uh, you, uh, has got um, more uh, coverage capacity. It can fly at a high altitude, even beyond line of sight, we specify for that. And uh, so it's used for mapping and um, uh, power line uh, inspection. So we like to think about drones as a tool to just help people get their jobs done. How have you seen commercial drones change the way that people are doing their jobs? Um, for example, in the oil and gas industry, uh, we use drones to inspect flare stacks. Mm. This is a job uh, that is usually done by people on, uh, with ropes. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that, I, I mean, I'm talking about live flare stacks with flames that can be up to 80 meters high. Also. Yeah. Uh, so the mm, classic way is to stop the flare stack. Mm -hmm. The flare stack cools that down. That must just cost an enormous amount of money for these uh, companies to shut down that uh, flare stack. I've heard that it, it, it could cost $15,000 a minute <laughs> and requires days to cool down. Wow. With the drone, it just takes a few minutes to do the inspection of the flare stack, of the live flare stack. The cost savings is tremendous. And, and so the people who are doing some of these inspections, what were they doing before and what are they doing now? Well, uh, still, they, they, are, they are doing the maintenance. So they've got to go to the, to, 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 to the flare stack with the ropes to do the maintenance. But the inspection phase is uh, reduced. So we're allowed to reduce from three weeks um, um, to two weeks of intervention. So we're saving one week. Some people have suggested that in order for drones to become widely used, uh, what has to happen is that the cost of the drone has to be very, very, very cheap. And only then are, are drones going to be used um, very broadly. That doesn't seem to match up with what you're saying, which is drones today can provide such an enormous business return. Um, it sounds like it's actually maybe more about something else. What is it that, uh, that has to happen for drones to really be used in a broad way in your mind? Well, for personal use, for hobby use, of course, the drone have to be cheap in order mm. to disseminate them. But for um, industrial application, it's um, th that big question around safety, or around efficiency, repeatability. And for that, you, you need industrial-grade system, industrial-grade drones, sensors, and autopilots to mm -hmm. do correctly the job. One of the changes we've seen over the last three years is a, a greater focus on autonomy. In your mind, uh, how is autonomy kind of changing the game? Well, we, we do always consider automatic flight. Mm. We, we, we are not into manual flight because having a, a human in the loop increases the 
errors and, and, the, and the risk too. And our customers uh, are looking for safe flights, reliable uh, flights, and repeatability of the data. The job has mm. to be done at the end of the day. And, uh, and I imagine they're not looking for drones at all, actually. That what your customers are interested in is just the data and the decision making. Exactly. Data in order to make the right decision. So Fabian, you, you're French. Uh, you're living in France. You started a, a commercial drone company in France. And as it turns out, France has some of the most mature regulations in the world. Luck? That's a luck. That's <laughs> a luck. Um, uh, but I'm curious, why is it that France has some of the most mature commercial drone regulations? What is it that France has been doing? OK, yeah, t today we, we do have 600 operators of drones. Well, that's twice as many as UK. And I know there was a recent article announcing that the UK uh, was operating 300 different uh, commercial drone operators. Exactly. Exactly, and it's thanks to the to, thanks to the DGAC uh, who allowed us to fly commercial drone in 2012. So they set strong restrictions uh, on distance, on altitude, on weight. But still, it allowed us to uh, to start to start uh, business with drones, mm -hmm. and um, now they are taking um, input from uh, from us, from the operators. Interesting. So uh, trying a small application, focusing on that, and then expanding it and scaling it over time. It almost sounds like the French regulators are a startup themselves. Exactly, and uh, they, they are applying the agile method. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think that the United States and regulators in the United States could learn from France? Well, what, what France has done is, is a real natural way. It's, uh, it's a, the safe way to do things, and I do think that the US wi will do the same. And it has already started with the motion picture industry that is allowed now to fly drones for filming. Fabian, it's been great having you. Thank you so much for joining us all the way from France. Thank you, Jonathan. Fabian, uh, co-founder and CTO of Delta Drone.